So guys, I thought I'd give you a quick look around. It's quite sunny today. I'll have a look in greenhouse in a sec. But this is my garlic. Now, there's a shop bought, there's a Casablanca, I'm not sure which was which, I think these are Casablanca, but something has eaten one of them. And the Red Russian, I've got one showing. Really, if you're watching, mate, one's come up so far, but nothing much else. But others have, have all sort of popped. I don't know. That one, that one, that one, that one. That one that's got chewed. I don't know what that is. That might be it coming back. But everything else come up apart from Red Russian, which I've only got one of. Now, if that one does all right, then I'll save that for next year. Hopefully, fingers crossed, others will come. It's been so mild here, I mean, I'm not going to go all the way around garden, I'll show you inside the greenhouse. It's been so mild here that, you know, stuff's still doing all right. I mean, we do get down to minus 15, these are radishes that have shot. I don't think there's any in there that are worth, or oh, there might be one or two, look. So, but we're still picking stuff out of the garden, just the odd stuff. We'll have a look in here, I've got to come in here, I've got to do some watering in here. But, as you can see, I've had a problem. That's not watering, that's the mould that's got that. So, which, you know, we sort of expected. And it's quite warm in here now, but I'm going to give them a good water. And I'm only watering them about, well, I come in and stick my finger in, and if it's really dry, then, because they don't need that much water, they're not growing that much anyway. But we've got the lamb's lettuce, the um, rocket, something's been eating the rocket though. Something with a spicy taste. The miner's lettuce, the beet leaves and say more. The um, lamb's lettuce and beets. I don't know whether these will do out. But now, the, we're getting longer days. I mean, I know we all talk about when to plant stuff. I don't need to tidy up any of though. But we talk about when to plant stuff. We all live in different climates, don't we? I mean, okay, it's exceptionally warm here for us at this time of year. It's not normal. We get down to like minus 15. So it'll be interesting to what they do to see what happens then. But I'm just gonna have a tidy up. I'll show you after. I'll pick all the leaves off and have a tidy up and give them all the water because they do look uh, a bit dry now. But we're doing all right. We've still been picking off this stuff, you know? And when weather picks up I'll pull all them dead ones out but when weather picks up then what survive should grow on as I say it's not looking good for some of them lost quite a few to mould but the the beets the beet leaves they're doing all right I mean they're actually they're small beets now they're like I don't know they're not they're not quite golf ball sized but you never know. And these onions will have onions in, you know, into spring. I know they don't look very good, but there's bulbs on them. You know, they're small bulbs, but good for salads, you know. I'll give this a lot of water and tidy up and I'll just show you after I've done that. Well, that's that done. It looks a bit better and hopefully it'll stop the mold spreading as much. I'll have a quick another look round just to make sure I've got all the ones that were affected. Because what happened is the beds that are a little bit damper, there's one I missed, are a little bit damper. I've actually rotted off it at the at the bottom, see. So you know, you can't have it all. Some of these beds, I'll just throw that outside. Some of these beds, well, this one in particular gets a little bit wet because there's a there's a drip somewhere. In fact, I've just spotted it. There. I'll have to fix that. And it drips into that bed, so it keeps the, that's pretty damp all the time. And I think that's obviously part of the problem. I'm spotting some more bits of mist as well. It's stuck to these pipes. But I've probably I've probably lost about forty percent of them to this mould. 
but it were expected. We've had some warmer days where it's actually where the roof's opened a little bit. I mean, it is exceptionally warm for December. It's the, the hottest December, third hottest December on record, apparently. But, like I say, it doesn't mean that in a couple of weeks we're going to get minus 15, because that can happen. And that can happen for a long time. But what I've got is I've got some onions here, which, when pulled back, there's little bulbs on them, you know? These beets, there's some there that are not quite golf ball size, but they'll still grow on, you know? And the days are getting longer, although we haven't had our winter yet. Our coldest months are usually January, February here. So we haven't had our winter yet. I mean, if it's really, really cold, that won't help them with growing. But if the weather carries on like it is and the days are getting longer, then they'll grow on a bit, you know? got to uh, thin those carrots but anyway I'll leave you to it I thought I'd give you a quick look around for January in the greenhouse and uh, don't forget think about them people in Australia and their animals uh, but always don't forget it's nice to be nice eh? <laughs>